tonight, no, bitch, be on. All up, bitches. All up, bitches. Bring in another video, and today we are going to update our dashboard. Now, as you guys can see on my dashboard, it is already 17526, and this is over on the RGH and JTEC only consoles. All right. To get started, the very first thing we are going to do is that we are going to make sure that we have the latest XE build. To do this, um, the reason why, why I'm actually mentioning this is because it took me a long time to kind of get my memory back of how it was that I updated from the previous uh, dashboard to what was 17.5.11. And now the 17.5.26 has come out. We need a new dashboard. We need to update our dashboard on the RGHs. Okay, so there's different ways that you can actually get the new version of XE built. What I recommend is going to either Teapot Live, okay, teapotlive.us. You can also go to xbls.ninja or XB Online. Uh, go to their to those still server websites and download. You should be able to see XE built. Um, personally, I use Teapot, so teapotlive.us. As soon as you go there, sometimes they may ask you, you know, just to make sure that you're not, I guess, a robot or something. Um, it'll ask you for a capture or what, whatever the hell they're called. And uh, once you log in there, it'll have Exe built, and you can click on it to download it. Now, you don't have to buy their service to update or get the new Exe built. Okay, so. My dashboard, like I said, is already on 17.526. Uh, now, here's a couple of things that you're going to use or you're going to need besides the XE build. You're going to need your CPU key, which one of the way to get it is um, we're going to go here into Dash Launch. All right. So um, in Dash Launch, you press uh, RB twice, go into System Info, and it's on the left side. It'll say CPU key and it'll have, you know, CPU. Cool? Okay. So, next thing would be to let's go ahead and uh, make sure that uh, we flash our NAND. If you have never done this, what you're going to need to flash the NAND is called a simple NAND flasher. Okay? Um, the best way that I place sorry that I have found to get the uh, simple NAN flasher is on uh, homebrew connections okay so go to homebrew dash connections dot org and on there um, uh, let's see I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and record on on my uh, laptop so you guys can see it okay Okay, so over on Homebrew Connections, you're going to go to Files, and right here on Files, go down to where it says Xbox, and then you're going to see NAND Flasher, okay? And here it is. Now I have 1.2, you can get 1.3 or 1.4, but those are both of those are in beta. I personally use 1.2. And it's as simple as just downloading it, um, extracting it, and putting it, no, wherever you guys can find it. Cool? Alright. So now back on the uh, on Xbox. We're going to go ahead and um, launch. Okay. All right. And this is what it's going to appear on your screen. From here, you're going to press X to dump it. Once you do that, you're going to get a file on uh, where the uh, where the folder the name flasher is. Okay. So that's what you're going to need. Um, when you get that file, which it should be, let's see, it should be in here or in here, either or. 
Um, once you get it, I'm going to go ahead and open uh, the file on my folder. Let's say you have already transferred it either through USB or neighborhood to your laptop. Um, make sure that you kind of keep um, keep them pretty close. All right. Uh, the flash dot bin. Uh, just make sure you have it. Okay. Anyway. Okay. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up Xe Build. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and and launch Xe Build GUI 2.0.exe. The reason why I told you guys to um, make sure you get the new one is because I had the old version and it did not have 17526 as a kernel. Okay. Um, up here, uh, we're going to go to open. And this is where uh, it's going to come in at. Okay. Because we've, um, wherever you put your uh, flash dump. Just make sure you get that cool uh, wherever you saved it to just that's why I try to keep everything together and we're gonna open that up and you should have um, a lot of these things should already be uh, enable you know should detect what kind of uh, motherboard you have whether you have freeboot uh, GH whatever you know everything else should be um, already set up uh, now what you want to do is just um, get your CPU key wherever you wrote it down at and go ahead and write it down and as you can see just make sure that the kernel is set to 17526 uh, and that's basically it you're just gonna go ahead and create an image um, once that this that is set and done with or you know just it's all done you're going to get an other uh, file with which is going to be up dflash.bin and that is basically the um, upgraded version cool of the motherboard um, from there on you're gonna go ahead and copy that onto a USB or um, put it on you know the neighborhood uh, you're gonna put it here in the simple and flasher okay and once you run default XEX okay you're gonna get basically this same menu but it'll ask if you want to dump not I mean uh, flash I'm sorry it'll ask if you want to flash I believe you press a and then start and it'll start um, dumping the NAN and then of course it's gonna restart again um, and that's basically it um, once that is set and done with, you are going to need the uh, system update 17.5.2.6, either USB, um, well, it's preferably USB avatar update. And of course, you're just going to have to go to um, Microsoft.com and then just put in, uh, I'm going to try to put that in the description as well. I'm going to try to put everything in the description so you guys can find it. Um, once you download the avatar update, just leave it as a folder or a file. Sorry, yeah, as a, as a folder. Leave it as a folder and just name it uh, System Update on a USB. Plug it into your Xbox and it'll add, and it'll say, "Would you like to update?" And that's it. Cool. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any more, uh, if you have any questions, just you know leave them down in, in the comments. I'm going to try to leave everything and all the information as much as I can down in the description. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Cool? Alright guys, so this was Captain J and I am out.